Hello everyone, it's Justine. Today I'm going to show you 10 more cards using the So Happy Card Kit of the Month from Spellbinders 2022. I actually also have another card, so technically there will be 11 cards to this video because I made a stitched card and added some of the fun sewing elements from the kit. So I just could not resist because I love stitching on cards and I thought, why not? because this is all about sewing and crafting. Let's add some embellishments from the kit to a stitch card. So here I am making my first card. I use some stickers and some um, die cut shapes on some circle pieces of pattern paper. I just punched those out with a circle punch and added my sewing machines right on top. I'm layering those on and then I'm adding some sticker embellishments. I guess they're technically st sentiments. Sticker sentiments to some pattern paper and adding those to my card. I kind of played around with the placement for those and decided to go kind of with a wonky top and bottom. <laughs> then I went ahead with my black pen and just made a faux stitching design on the edges. So there's a look at the finished card. I did that on several other cards on videos one and two and I like the way that the stitching looks. Now for the real stitch card, here I have a stitched oval and I have several other little pieces that I added from the card kit to my stitched oval. The stitched oval die is from Spellbinders and I couldn't resist using the stamp set and stamping right on the oval and adding all of these sweet little sewing things to the card. So I added a lot of these little buttons. Some of them were stickers, some of them were embellishments. So I just all, I put them all down with some liquid glue and made them kind of scattered going from the top left to the bottom right. I also added the little XXX, which is like three little hugs, and you made my day. So it's full of all sorts of sweet little <laughs> things. I also added some foam di dimensional behind my button jar and my button sign on the top, just because I didn't want it to um, get pushed down after that um, die ended. So there's a look at that finished card. Now this card is kind of like a tapestry card. I took my circle punch and punched out three main circles from some of my cardstock that I had in my stash and made kind of like a base. Then I took the sticker sentiment and I think that that yarn was a... maybe it was a sticker. Then I took my die cut tapestry, the biggest one, and then the little one was a chipboard frame or chipboard element, and I put those on. Then I added my two little safety pins, and I thought they kind of looked like people, <laughs> so I put them straight up and down, and the one looks like it's kind of waving. Maybe it makes sense to someone else, I hope. <laughs> There's a look at that finished card. This next one, I kind of was inspired by this woman crafting. Now, I don't know about you, but sometimes when I get crafting, whether it be card making or something else, stitching, I, I just kind of get lost in the world of crafting. So this is what this woman is doing. She is getting totally lost in her crafting world <laughs> with flowers and knitting needles everywhere. If you can relate, let me know in the comments. Also, be on the lookout for your favorite card because I'd love to know in the comments which card is your favorite. At the end, I will show all of the cards that I made in this video, so if you need a refresher, you can see those there. Now, this simple card I really loved making. I went ahead and put some pattern paper behind this window sticker, and I'm going to take this flower and just kind of ruffle the edges a little bit with my hand to make it kind of 3D-ish. Then I'll just hold it down and add sequins, and that's it. That strip of pattern paper on the side was a scrap, 
and the sticker that says love this was just a sticker just pop it right on very easy to use those stickers to make some really neat areas on cards and I'm using even more stickers here we go stickers and a mini chipboard frame and I'm going to frame the sentiment simple things with that ch chipboard frame then I have my little bird again with her needle and she's going to rest on the outside of the frame since there are things that say hello love this simple things there's quite a lot of things going on with this card so I think it could be used for many different things I'm going to finish the card off by adding a little button and some sequins this card I used the silver mirrored cardstock as my background cardstock and again I'm using this woman I really liked <laughs> the women in the elements this time because I really related to them <laughs> so she has her knitting basket and I'm going to use some balls of yarn again to make her kind of like in the world of knitting totally lost in there and the sentiment says from the heart and hand spun so it just it works with knitting <laughs> oh my mistake it says home spun not hand spun anyway I'm going to use my stamp set to make a sentiment for this card so I just used a scrap of my white paper and I'm going to cut it and glue it onto that yellow pattern paper the yellow is going to match my little kitten's dress <laughs> didn't think I'd say that sentence today but here I am saying it <laughs> now I have quite a few different pieces of scrap paper and die cut shapes so I have my scrap paper kind of being my background like my supporting area for all of my little pieces to rest on and sometimes I like when they are not glued on perfectly straight and it's kind of crooked it kind of adds like a cute little flare if you will and this card is all about crocheting so I have those crochet needles on the side and I have my adorable granny squares on the edge I love granny squares they are just so cute and I have a blanket that my mom made for me that was a granny square blanket and I have it on on my bed it is one of my favorite blankets I think because it was made with love from mother that's kind of my favorite part about it crocheted blankets are just the best I have another one in my living room that is from my sweet mother-in-law that one is hand crocheted but it is not granny square so it's fun to have handmade things especially from sweet people this was a very fast card um, sorry I guess I kind of talked through it all but I kind of got sidetracked with my sweet sweet blankets <laughs> and ladies speaking of women who craft I think this card is perfect for anyone who knits since the sentiment is knitting queen <laughs> even though my pattern paper is bobbins in the background I think it still applies for the knitting and it's just a fun card of course I will finish it off by adding sequins now if you've never tried a card kit I would recommend you trying one so if you haven't this might be the card kit for you now if you're interested in getting this one you need to pick it up before six days before the end of the month so for September this card kit will be available if there are extras sometimes they put it back on the website but it is not guaranteed and when they put it on the website after the month is over they put it at their full price so if you're interested in this card kit again I would pick it up before six days before the end of the month the earlier the better because the earlier you purchase it the quicker it's coming to you also this would make a really easy fun gift that keeps on giving so if you're interested in getting some Christmas shopping done early this card kit would be perfect for anyone who's crafty 
in your life. So go ahead and check it out. I will have that linked in the description for you. Plus, when you buy from the Spellbinders website, you get creative points. So it, it really is the gift that keeps on giving. Those creative points you can use to buy more things from Spellbinders. Anyway, here is a look at all of the cards I made in this video. So if you've liked any of them, please hit the like button and that will let me know you liked my cards. If you're interested in seeing more cards from me, please subscribe to my channel and I hope that you get to create something fun soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.